Davido laughs as bank officials hurried the flight to meet him in Dubai days after he got 192 million naira in inactive account. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Davido's lawyer Prince Ajudua recently took to his Instagram story to share photos of a singer with some bank officials. Prince revealed that the visit to the singer was a result of a 100 million challenge he started a few years a few days ago. Davido's inactive account with the bank racked in almost 200 million naira, leaving many Nigerians supply, surprised by his influence. Officials from the bank where Davido received his one billion gift have taken a trip to Dubai to have a discussion with the singer. Days after the singer called on his friends to send him one million naira each, the assurance crew recorded the sum of seven million naira in ten minutes. In hours, Davido had over one hundred million naira in his account. A scroll through his Instagram story showed that the money has risen to a whooping sum of one hundred and ninety-two million naira. It is no wonder that the bank official decided to leave every other thing and meet with the singer. Davido's lawyer, Prince Ajudua, shared photos showing him and the singer striking the pose with the bank officials. Davido also reposted his photo and said the bank could not wait to see him. He then added laughing emojis. Okay. This particular, if this particular um, incident, it shows that, how am I going to put this now? Good works. Good works. Your good works, your person, your personality. And if you're a person of influence, how, how, how am I going to put it now? How well you use the little office you're in. I'm telling you, there is no how you're going to be a person of integrity and you will lose. To be very sincere, it pays. Like, it pays. People can bank on you. It might be very, very difficult to come out and, you know, uh, um, and make sure you're a person of integrity and you use your influence very positively. It can be very tempting because, of course, you will always, there's this thing that is in every human that is, Always, you know, you want to be self-centered. But you are overlooking it and you are killing that particular habit. And putting people's... Um, and put it, putting people's... Uh, how am I going to put it now? Like putting the truth before yourself. Like you do not care about every other thing so far. That this thing... This particular th truth, now, this is what I stand for. You don't care about yourself, how people see you. It pays, like, it pays big time. This is what we saw about a few days ago when um, the video came out. And, of course, clips have been going around on social media and him giving comments about this, that it is people that he has helped that is also, in turn, doing this. That you don't come out, you don't pull such stones. No, you cannot, it is not everyone that comes out and puts such stones. And I'm sure he did not even expect it to go this far. He did not. He just did that and boom, it happened. So the thing is, being a person of integrity, hell, it is key. Being a person who, who do not, how am I going to, who do not do like, you know, consign me. You know, consign me kind of attitude. It is none of my business, you know. You see somebody in help and it may even be your neighbor. For the fact that the person did not come to you is not of your business. You are passing by and you see something you can do to help someone who is in need. You know, you don't consign me. So this one, he came out to say it is actually people now that he has helped in one way or another. Those are the people that came out and make sure that, you know, he's... He's, uh, uh, how am I going to put it now? He's, uh, how am I going to put it? But in, all, in summary, in summary, the little that he has used to influence people's life is what we saw. It is a reward for being kind and being selfless. For not doing eyes right when you see somebody else in need. That is a summary. 
Because I believe that, and I always hold on to the fact that no matter your actions, no matter your actions, good or bad, you will get the you will get the reward or consequences. And it has a ripple effect. So the ripple effect of his action was what was seen a few days ago on social media. And of course, some people came out to try and pull such stunts now. Apart from you don't come out and push us to especially when you have not you have not purposefully helped others. You have not came out to come out or go out of your way to help people. Like what have you done? It is not enough that they know your name, it's not enough that they know your brand, but what have you done for people? That is just what happened. So it is a a wonderful one. It's a wonderful one and a reminder that integrity pays like you know, in the world where you can be anything, just be kind. Be kind to people. If you can assist, you assist. Because at the end of the day, you are doing that good. It is being ticked for you. It is not being ticked in, in, on somebody else's account or record. You are the one that takes in the benefits. Even if no matter how it tarries, at the end of the day, you are the person that owns that particular, that owns that particular um, good track, good record now being recorded. It's a win-win situation for the bank and Davido. I just like Davido. He sure knows the rule of entertainment and it is called show business. Exactly. He knows his onions. He knows his onions and apart from him knowing his onions, he's this kind, he's this generous and he's using his position, you know, to... How am I going to put it now? To influence us positively. Like somebody somewhere can say, oh, because of this person, I did this and did this and did that. And, you know, my life is now better because that particular statement of because of this person, it will forever be in record. So it's a gentle reminder of how it's not every time my own, my own, my own. You're going to assist others and in return. And I'm re in return, not even for the purpose of, you know, something like this happening. In return, of course, the good is going to the good is going to be your record. That is just it. But why should the bank officials fly to Dubai to meet the video? Why not the meeting hold in Nigeria? Or is there something that they don't want the public to know? Many people have more than what people contributed to the video, but bank officials did not meet them for a meeting. China, Nigeria, the world for you. I do not think you get the message clear. That many many people has such money, but not all others can pull these stunts. He advertised this thing. He did this advertising, and we all know that Wema Bank in Nigeria is <laughs> is hardly taken like that particular bank is seen as a bank of the past, a bank that is a cake. So it's a plus plus to them. Kudos to them both. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.